getting some work done. And I just fired up my um, lilac candle and my uh, glitter votives here in the window. I'm really gonna show them off today. Um, look how pretty my candle looks there with the little butterfly doohickey. Um, yeah, I've, I fired these up maybe with uh, in the hopes of getting some inspiration for uh, using my other one, but. And I'm also really uh, happy with how these curtains are working out, so. Yeah, they seem to be effectively blocking the light and um, temperature regulating it in here throughout the day when I'm not here, so. Yep, that is what's going on, and I've got a load of laundry as judging, so, yep. So I've been working, and I just whipped up some uh, brunchy breakfast here. I've got my, um, today's cauliflower oats are hearkening back to the apple cinnamon. I've got um, a, a serving of just uh, regular oatmeal, and a serving of cauliflower, of rice cauliflower. And I mixed in some of my fresh cashew milk, the last of it, sadly. And I also mixed in half, I also mixed in a serving of the Vitacost vanilla pea protein. And I sprinkled some cashews on it and some of the Truvia brown sugar. And then I sweetened it with the Sweet Leaf uh, vanilla cream drops that I like so much. So, and I also really love the coconut flavor that I got on my Vitacost haul. That's been really good in the um, coconut lime waters. And I had my beauty dust this morning in my cute mug. <laughs> and I gotta get some biotin today. Um, I have a... Uh, I have a gift card, I have a coupon for the vitamin shop, so I think I might go to the vitamin shop and pick that up, so. So I um, got a new, you guys gave me some great tips about uh, the shower curtain liners and getting a fabric shower curtain liner was one of them. So I took it upon myself when Ebates was having the 15% uh, cash back to purchase a new shower curtain and uh, shower curtain liner in a better rod situation. And this time I did the ship to store option. So um, I was able to, because my total order wasn't, um, my total order cost was lower than their minimal uh, to get free shipping. And so um, it, I just got a notification that it's uh, there at the store to pick up. So I need to swing over there and get that today. So that's what's going on, guys. Curtain, no problem. It's like a maze in here to get out though. <laughs> they have me trapped in like the underwear section. Oh, here we go. Guys, it's Josie Marigan. Marin has uh, an Aragon cleansing oil. I wonder if this one's any good. It's a little 32 bucks. I mentioned I really like, uh, like her sunscreen. I think it's nice. I used it once, I really liked it. It's expensive though. Oh, YouTubers are always raving about this and it always terrifies me when I watch them put it on um, and they get excited about how peely it is. I wanted to see what the ingredients were because they usually just say it's intense and I don't know what they're talking about. Pumpkin fruit and sunflower seed. What's the acid in this? Sodium lactate, this does sound kind of intense. The retinal palmitate is kind of useless, honestly. That has been shown in studies to be useless. Um, it's not a very good uh, cosmeceutical retinol. And the pumpkin fruit ferment filtrate kind of is a little scary. It says let the AHAs and enzymes work. What's the active ingredient though? FYI, there is absolutely no reason to put gold on your skin. <laughs> I don't care what Peter claims. It has no, like, benefit. <laughs> and if it got deposited in the deeper layers of your skin by accident, it could be uh, really uh, damaging. But this has caffeine in it, supposedly, which I guess can transiently constrict the blood vessels in your face. But they're just going to dilate as soon as it wears off, so I don't know what good that is. And then the hyaluronic acid and glycerin, that's probably what's going to make this feel nice and moisturizing, but is it worth 75 bucks? Um, has anybody used this? Because as far as I can tell, the only benefit this, that this would have uh, is essentially what you get in the Neutrogena Hydra Boost for 20 bucks. So um, I decided to come get a little snack here at um, 
and I got, um, they had the non-dairy options. Um, so I got, uh, I filled the bowl with blueberries. The bottom of the bowl has a bunch of blueberries and strawberries. And then I got the mango. Um, I guess it's like a sorbet and a little bit of the strawberry. And then I just love these strawberry poppy boba things and some mochi, mochi, whatever. And um, a little waffle doodle here and some coconut and a few sprinkles of graham cracker crumbs. So I'm gonna have that, looks delicious. Yeah, I managed to escape out of J.C. Penney's fairly uh, expeditiously. Um, wasn't too bad in there. Um, the uh, gentleman who who helped me was pretty pretty quick, so that ended up being worthwhile. That way, I could check, make sure I had they had my order right. So, yeah, I'm gonna have this, and then uh, probably go back and maybe put up my curtain. So maybe put up my uh, new uh, shower curtain. Hmm, that's really good. Yeah, fruit is lighter than the uh, frozen yogurt, so um, a way to keep the cost down on these is to uh, pick a light fruit, fruit like the blueberry and uh, put, the, put it in the bottom. That way you don't uh, overload the bowl with the heavier yogurt um, and it, it weighs less and it's cheaper. FYI. Also, I've noticed the non-dairy options way, way less, which is kind of odd, but anyways. Well guys, I uh, am back and I hung up my new uh, shower curtain and um, it's just looking much better than before. Um, the issue that I had here, and we're going in the dark, the issue that I was having is the fact that when they installed my shower curtain uh, rod, they installed it into the cement so it's not removable, but they put it far, far too low so that any shower curtain that you put in there drags on the bottom. So I got a new um, rod and a new curtain and um, the new, I, maybe I was a little overzealous in, the, in putting the new uh, rod up a little bit higher. Um, the lighting's not great in here. Um, I like this pattern and I took you guys' uh, recommendation and went ahead and got the uh, fabric liner so but fun uh, fun repurposing thing though guys if you um, sorry going back out in the dark if you run races or go to an event like a concert or something like that um, the um, shower curtain liners are a great like like the cheapy ones um, are a great thing to take with you to put down on the ground um, I learned that from a friend of mine, and uh, when I ran the New York City Marathon, I uh, took one with me to the start because they have they have you corral up um, and wait, and it's it's quite cold where you're waiting um, over in Staten Island to start the race, and so. Um, to, to keep your feet warm, um, you know, you wear a bunch of old clothes and then you can donate them at the start site. Um, but <laughs> it's also nice to have something uh, to stand on. And so a, a shower curtain is actually a good thing because the ground is, is damp and wet and it, it's, it's kind of cold where they have you corralled up. And that's the last thing that you want. But speaking of running, I am going to buzz into the gym now. You guys have been asking me a fair amount about this Neutrogena Hydro Boost gel cream that I use. I use the gel cream version of it because it is fragrance free and that is um, is the product I happen to pick up uh, uh, when I first got it. Um, this will not clog your pores. I put this on to a wet face and then cover it with a um, plain moisturizer as you um, know. Um, and I really like it a lot. It is expensive. Um, I know they make a few other uh, variants of this, this product. Uh, one does have fragrance in it, however, but I like this one, and this is the one that I think um, is is good. Um, I'm not familiar really with the other ones. But um, coming back to what I was saying in Sephora about like that gold cream, that gold cream by Peter Thomas Roth, um, you know, the ingredients in this is a, a fairly expensive product in my mind. It's 20 bucks, and for me, it lasted about give or take 35 days uh, for one of these 1.7 ounce jars. Um, and 
I believe that the key to this may not have anything to even do with the hyaluronic acid. It's merely the fact that it has dimethicone and glycerin in it, which are, you know, are humectants and, and emollients that soften the skin. And I think really that just having that added layer of moisturizer on to wet skin um, is, is really what, what helps here. I don't know how much the, the hyaluronic acid component can, can do in that. Um, those are vehicle components. And, you know, with cosmetics, cosmetics do not have the accountability, don't have the same level of accountability for efficacy in their ingredients. And, uh, and, and so bear that, you know, that's something that I always want to underscore to you guys on here is like, it doesn't matter. It's it's kind of, with cosmetics. It's kind of like honestly, if you go into the grocery store and you're walking down the cereal aisle and you're looking for cornflakes, and you know you've got on the bottom shelf like the generic cornflakes that come in a bag, and then somewhere in the middle shelves you've got like your Kellogg's cornflakes. You've got maybe your store brand cornflakes, and they're all different prices, but they're all essentially boxes with the words cornflakes on them. And you know, then you've got some higher end cornflakes that are non-GMO or organic or, you know, um, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and then, so say you buy all, all of these and try them all out and you get them all home and you find out that when you open the box, all that's in each box is sawdust and one cornflake. That's kind of how cosmetics are in that, honestly, it doesn't matter if it's a Peter Thomas Roth jar of, of dimethicone and glycerin or this Neutrogena one or the CVS one. As far as, essentially, you don't know what's in that box, okay? So, you know, General Mills and the makers of cornflakes, they know that they could never get away with that. They could never get away with putting one cornflake in a box and filling it with the rest, filling the rest of it with, with sawdust. Um, you know, people know when they open cornflakes what they're supposed to look like and taste like, etc., etc., what cereal is and is not, um, okay? But when it comes to cosmetics, it's easier to blur the lines because um, cosmetic companies exploit minor, small, small advances in science and put it all over the label. And really, you have no idea if you're getting cornflakes or sawdust in the jar. There's no way to know. Um, and for that matter, you may just be getting a kernel of corn, no cornflake, and it's up to your skin to process that in, into the actual thing that could potentially be helpful. So, you know, I want to underscore that if when you're, it doesn't matter the price of the product. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, one of these cosmeceuticals that's marketed to be affordable, like the ordinary. It doesn't matter if it's, um, you know, the, the more expensive ones. It doesn't matter if it's labeled medical grade, okay? I always, in my mind, they're all, they're all suspect, you know? To me, it's, it, a cosmetic is a cosmetic. And for all you know, you're just buying sawdust. Um, um, so, I just wanted to leave you guys with that since we finally made it into a Sephora sneaky sneaky um, and uh, I was able to check out some of these uh, fancy things that you guys are, have asked me about recently. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I'm going to conclude it here. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!